So everybody, um, today we have a, a video where we are reviewing some custom Lego, I'd say more knockoff Lego figures, like mainly the bad batch where I just have these because I got a good deal with them. So um, yeah, so I'm going to review them, they were mainly for the to celebrate um, the bad batch um release but we we'll just say it's for the third episode even though it came out yesterday but yeah it, it, let's just say we it's to celebrate the third episode not the first but um but yeah so um i do have some i sort of i'm a bit disappointed because it came with another arm i thought oh, i can just make it a kit because it was uh, originally in 330 secondary but, but it came um it came with a um so the other arm the hand wouldn't go in. The knock of hand wouldn't go in. So in an official one and then best I could do a quick makeshift one. So and then I just got a little echo. So you can serve it with one which I made myself. But um Yeah, so we have these scissors. We got this little micro fighter I made. She's um sort of a it well it isn't sort of it is. A uh, bad batch shuttle, little micro fighter, which you can do with the wings down. And then you can like put tech in there or something. So you so it flies like that. So let um, me put this back down. So first let's start with our uh, tech. Like personally I think it actually looks way these look way better. Even though they're knockoff look way better than the um, official Lego ones, which, um, yeah, because personally, I don't know if you see it, the printing is amazing on the Lego one, just the, um, it's just the fact that Tech's helmet is oversized, it should just go down to the chest and does not look that well good, um, like the movable thing here. And I know you've probably already seen tons of reviews of these, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway. But um, yeah, I found. Um, uh, let me get the helmet off. This is the face, and found on my hairpiece. I was thinking of using a different one, but I didn't. Ha I couldn't find one. And then, um, so that's what it. Can focus. Ah. There we go. That's. Um, that's um tech without his helmet on. So that was really that's really nice. The backpack comes with these two knockoff guns. So you can just like this these hairs did not come so much with the the things. I just found some hair pieces that look nice. Next we have Wrecker. Not much nicer this is what it looks like without the helmet. Much nicer I think they did it better with the Mandalorian. I like then the Iron Man one. Then they've got this blaster backpack. See it there. I think they should have done a black one of these. I think that they would have worked much better and blended in. But um, yeah, so it's really looks a bit more simple in here. We got crosshair and yeah, with the thing, I guess I dropped the this the other one of this rangefinder somewhere I've been trying to look for it so I just got some blue tech to get in there and then got a, not a knockoff rangefinder just put it in there um, I think it looks alright it's a bit delicate but uh, I'll get into the rack soon but um nice I think it's a fake cone on the customs rangefinder but this is what it looks like I think personally I think four heads too big um and then here, let me just grab it this is the hair piece that I chose for my collection to give him. Uh, why would I focus? There you go. Um, yeah, so I think I, uh, I really like the helmet, even though it is inaccurate technically. I think it looks very really nice, really nice printing. And this is the backpack on the side. These to the sniper and a pistol hit. Okay. And then here we have Hunter. Oh no. 
So this is what it looks like under the helmet. Did not mean to do that. Um, yeah, I only handed it a helmet a bit wonky, but I have like nice printing. I was planning on using a different hairpiece, but I just couldn't find it. So I just decided to use this. Still looks really nice with it. Nice tattoo, face printing. Really nice printing. Got an, um, um, this and a pistol. And then, well, nice printing on the helmet. And yeah, so that's Hunter there. So that's the Bad Batch done. Uh, sadly, because this is from like season 7 the Clone Wars, I know. But it doesn't have um, Echo in it. Which is, I think maybe one day they might add an Echo to it. Which is good. Um, next we have Rex. Pretty basic. Um, got the... I think you, it would be better if you could have folded the polar meta. This camera, two, two, two DC-17 pistols here. So you said about the rainfinder. Basic, I don't really like the head printing, but um, yeah, it looks quite nice for a knockoff phase two, uh, Rex. Mm. Um, yeah, this is a really nice Cody. I really like it because it's got nothing that you can really compare it to for a phase two. Well, I did see Five Star Toys one, which looked really, really nice. And um, yeah, that like is bit practically the Cody we've always wanted. But it comes with two pistols, nice visor and helmet. Look that, it's got a removable sun visor. And nice leg printing on the back sides. Nice jetpack printing. Would have been nice if they actually put a jetpack that they can put there. But otherwise it's still nice. Next we have Arc Trooper Jesse, which I really love because I I really well I really want an official Lego one as well. And I, I don't think it's supposed to have these two guns, but I just put, quickly put them on. Nice printing and nice Pauldrons and camera, and yeah, I really like the helmet. It's got a unique head printing, which I really like. Um, the tattoo and everything. And then next we have my makeshift kicks with the regular clone head. I just put red on my white hand. Nice arm printing. I think this is like, just put a regular Fiber First helmet on here. Perfect, perfect for the first group. If the arm did fit, it would be a perfect figure. And yeah, I, I would really like that if Lego did it because it's got stuff inside, leg printing, stuff like that. So I think it's perfect. I wouldn't say perfect, but nice. There's this little. Um, tell me if you want it in an individual video. It's quite small. Um, I actually made this for my friend using his helmet but the rest is mine. The nice um echo decal I made and it's got like uh, this is from season seven. Just use the hips from that stormtrooper because I saw one online which is similar and I couldn't bother to make a decal for it. Just put that on nice and great legs. You know what this I had this like silver sharpie thing and I coloured in like a regular hand you know, and I think it worked really well. I originally did have like a moulded piece but they kept on breaking off. And yeah, so that's um, Attack Roof. This is the, um, I'm not sure you know that. To find some instructions online, I will give, I did modify it uh, with like these wings, but otherwise I can put in the descri this description. The reason why I have these white legs here is for tech. So if I just grab tech, because the knockoff legs don't really work that well. Just take off the backpack as well. Just pop it on these white legs. Boom. We've got a micro fighter um, bad batch shuttle. Because I thought I would put tech there. Because I'm only, I built this and I thought, oh, uh, those bad batch figures would look great in it. So I got them all. I I was originally planning on um, just buying the bad batch as them, but then I saw the same set. The person that's still selling is basically doing it 
or just a tiny, so it was like seven pounds for all of them, which is actually all five pounds, so like um, a good deal here, because like otherwise from the US you would have to pay for shipping and stuff like that, so it was a pretty good deal, but then I saw it, it going for, with these guys for as well, for a really good deal, so I thought, okay, I might as well get those as well. Because if I can get those for the, that good deal, I'll get them. And so, got the right fighter um, here. I think it works well. Um, yeah, it actually saves my money from just buying the Bad Batch shuttle. Because, to be honest, it um, was a bit disappointing. We are planning on doing uh, episode 2 of Minifig Pros and Cons about the Bad Batch Shuttle of what we've seen so far. So we're planning on like um, getting on a call and then just discussing it and recording it. So yeah, we're planning on doing that soon. Then maybe in the next week or two. But um, yeah, it's gonna be that. Um, hope you enjoyed. And I will put the links, I'll give the guy who originally made the design of the Bad Batch Manga Fighter in the description and I'll put the if you want to get these for yourself I will put the um, especially if you are in the UK um, if you want to buy them I'll put the link in the description when I bought them from and bye